Hello everyone. Another day, another grind, even though it's Sunday, you still gotta work. So, now, it's time to eat. So why not go order something? Think the kids will be happy. Let's do this. I'm not sure what it is about the cold weather, but I don't want to deal about it. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. But again, before we get uh, some food, we need to get some money. So, let's go. So, by getting getting some food, uh, I can think the kids will be happy. The kids would be happy. Some Chinese food today. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Okay, so back home with the food. Are the kids happy? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, we are. Well, you won't eat then. Hey. You won't eat. Yes, we will. No. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> you won't eat. Yes. No. no, none for you. Okay, let's eat. Yeah. At some point today, I had to deal with the fact that I I wanted to control more than I should, and it felt it felt wrong. It felt like I I was not doing the right thing. At least I caught that. So that there there's that. This morning, part of me was angry because I felt like uh, nobody was listening to me, in particular my kids. They would just do as they they would see fit without asking first or asking permission to do X and Y or even ask for an advice. And part of me felt betrayed with that. But another part of me felt like, why does it bother you? And I've been thinking, so why does it bother me that my kids would do something without telling me first or w without uh, asking me for advice so yes the parents need to be there to uh, guide the kids uh, to help them go through life and lead them to uh, a good life as best as best as possible but at the same time you have to consider the fact that there are times where um, kids will decide for a few things they will make their own decisions and they have to understand that th th those decisions that they're making have consequences and it not, it's not necessarily all bad but sometimes when you decide to do something you have to uh, follow follow through and uh, see okay so if it's something that is for example stupid then yeah you may be grounded for that or you may have consequences uh, harsher than that but if you do something good then the consequences can be good so there are two two sides to that but my point really is that I need to let go of trying to help them too much again I'm I'm doing my best for that but I still sometimes I feel like uh, I I want them to be I want them to be happy. I want them to be good persons. I want them to be good and do good. But at the same time, I cannot be the governor for them that will stop everything they do or limit their capacities. Because if I limit them to what I believe is the limit, then I'm not really helping them. And that's something that's something to think about because yes what what I'm not able to do maybe they are able to and being the one that limits them may not be the wisest thing they may not become the best version of themselves if I'm here and trying to uh, stop them from doing this or that so it is worth considering the fact that trying to limit the uh, the actions too much. In fact, having too much control over the kids or o over any person, in fact, you cannot be the governor for their lives. You don't know their limits. You don't know their capabilities. They could surprise you in good ways too. You don't know. Maybe. So that's worth letting go sometimes. Just for that. So that's it for me today. Till tomorrow. Ciao.